Hey, thanks for watching the video for the home boxing gym. It's a seven station unit. This item is exclusive to Valor Fitness. Uh, let me walk you through a couple of the areas and they'll go through each station one by one and kind of show you the features benefits that helps out your physical uh, endurance here. The first station, we have a speed bag platform. Next, a vertical knee raise for the abs, a dip station for the triceps, push-up station for the chest and arms, pull-up station, arms back, shoulders, double in bag back here, eye hand coordination, and for the the main event in the back side, you've got the heavy bag, now I should say more of the kickboxing bag. So take your pick. So we're going to walk through each one uh, individually and we'll show you the features benefits of how the stations can help benefit you in your workout. And let's start with the speed bag platform first. We can adjust this to a height of about a six foot two person to about a five foot person. All you do, you loosen the nuts on the back side, both sides, you adjust the platform to the user's height, which is about nose level to the bulge of the bag. So just crank this baby up, get to about the, <clears throat> the nose level. You tighten this down, which is very important. So you want to eliminate as much vibration as possible as you're working out. We added solid steel chrome sliders for the carriage for added support. We have beams across the top for added support. We've got eight bolts to bolt it to the steel frame. And you got a, a chain link type swivel for speed. Get all that done and you have your fun. So as you guys go to the next section, I'm gonna stay here and have some fun. After your speed bag workout, let's head over to the vertical knee raise, dip station, pull up station. Dip station, bars are parallel for the hand grip. Plenty of room for clearance of your shoulders. The vertical knee raise, you have a V design slanted in. That's designed that way on purpose for function. It wedges you back, you sit in, and do your exercise. A good VKR, you should be able to do your exercises without holding the grips. So wedge in, elbows down, and do your exercise. You do not want to find one where you're like this. Too much pressure and torque on your shoulders. Up top, you have four options for the hand grips. You've got the wide one, the standard, inside, and parallel. I prefer the standard. I'm five foot ten. If I drop down, my feet will not touch the floor. I do a pull up. There's no bar in the middle to hit my chin or my head, and there's plenty of clearance for my body width between the, the uh, pads right here. Let me take you down to the push up stand next. Okay, you finished the top part. Let's get down to the push ups. You've got two handles welded to the frame. The handle, the bars go through the frame and are welded on the bottom side as well as the top side. Hard plastic grip for a step to get up to the uh, vertical knee raise and the pull up station, but also for your push ups. And even you can do dips down here as well. Your basic push up station, which you all know what a push up is, but if you want to turn around and do some, I guess, some cheater dips with the heels on the ground, you can do the dips as well. Uh, again, strong for step, but also for push ups. Let's go over to the double in bag. Okay, the double in bag by now, through all the stations, you're getting kind of physically burnt here. Let's work on some eye hand coordination with the bag. You've got an adjustable bungee cord, clips top and bottom. You can strike it in this position. There's plenty of room for the frame not to obstruct it going this way, or this position back and forth to go this way. Bottom line, it's eye hand coordination, a double in bag. These are the two areas I discussed as far as trying to weight the, the frame down to the floor. If you don't have the option to fasten the unit frame to a cement floor, you can still use some weight to kind of hold it down. We give you two options on the side here with some uh, plate storage pegs. If you can, try and keep the diameter of the plate as small as possible uh, and then stack up higher. What that does is it allows more foot traffic or foot space on the very bottom. So if you're doing some kickboxing, you have a little bit smaller diameter plate down here you're messing with. And these are 25 10s and 10s on both sides. Uh, you can also put a large rubber hex dumbbell in the V part to keep that down uh, to the ground. So again, the goal, get a good foundation, weight it down, and enjoy your workout. Okay, we saved the best for last, the heavy bag. By now the machine has taken its toll on you. It's time to give back to this section, and that's why we saved the best for last, the main event. 
The heavy bag section design to allow the frame to be reduced in height in case you have limitations in your household or club as far as ceiling height. <clears throat> we padded the sides, so if you decide to this become a kickboxing section, then if your foot goes astray and you catch the pad there, it won't hurt as much as if you hit the frame itself. So a pretty thick pad, they'll Velcro it on. I won't try that up there, it'll hurt. So if you're in your performance and your hand goes astray or your foot goes astray, not a problem, we got you protected. Hey, I appreciate your time. This is a great unit. Have fun.